Greetings and salutations. This is just a very quick video and it is a rant. Now watch carefully on the screen. In this terminal you will see that I am updating one of the machines in my house that runs the Ubuntu desktop. So let's go ahead and make that bigger for everybody to see. Right? And we will full screen this. Now I want you to see, did I catch it? Because it took me a little while to get set up to record. Okay, it is taking off here. Let us scroll up here and you will see that one of the very first things that it's doing on this update is installing the Firefox Snap. Why is this installing the Firefox Snap on my machine? I updated another machine yesterday and saw this very same thing, but it's one that I had reloaded recently because I was doing some experimentation. And I thought, okay, well, I didn't uninstall Firefox. I am not a Firefox user. I don't care for it. I don't want it on my machines at all. Fight me in the comments. Go right ahead. I don't care. I don't like it. Why is Ubuntu forcing Firefox on me with this update? This has now happened with two machines. I am not happy with that. And Firefox now, I see, is in a snap. Now, I'm not even going to get into that whole debate, but I'm not happy about it either. So you guys can have fun in the comments with this because this is a really short little ranty video that's going to probably make some people mad, but I personally don't care. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uninstall Firefox. So sudo apt purge Firefox. Did I get the whole thing? Let's do a, let's make sure we get everything that has anything to do with Firefox. So we'll put the star at the end there. Unable to locate package Firefox. Well, that's because you didn't spell it right. You forgot the E. How could I possibly ever do a video without do, making, you know, some sort of stupid typographical error? So we're going to get rid of this now. Okay, that took care of whatever little meta package they have that lead you to a snap. Now sudo snap remove Firefox. I don't want Firefox Ubuntu. Don't shove it down my throat. You guys are getting damn pushy. That is for sure. I have supported you for how many years on YouTube? But I'm telling you dude, you are pushing it to the edge. One of the reasons people come to Linux is so that stuff doesn't get shoved down their throat that they are not made to do whatever the people who vend said software want them to do. That is a Microsoft and a Mac thing. Linux is, here it is, you do whatever you want with it, and once you set it up, we respect your settings. If you don't want to run this software, you don't have to run it. If you don't want the update manager running, you can turn it off. You can do whatever you want. That's the way Ubuntu should be. That's the way all Linux should be. And those Linux distributions who are not allowing users to make their own decisions like this, really, we all just walk away from them. I'm telling you, I am about done with Ubuntu. And there you go. That crap is now off that machine, and hopefully it'll stay away. Now, what will be interesting to see is, is if two weeks or two months down the road, I end up running updates on that machine, and guess what? Here comes Firefox back again. Sorry, don't like far Firefox. Dead browser walking, boys and girls. I would much rather put up with Google Chrome. And yes, the Google version of Google Chrome, which is all googly. I like that better. You know why? Because it's cross-platform compatible. That's the same reason why I use VirtualBox. It's cross-platform compatible. It's not a Linux-only solution. Therefore, if I should decide to want to do something on another machine that's running Windows or Mac, and I do have a Windows machine that I have to deal with every day for work, I get exactly the same experience on both platforms. Same things with VirtualBox, although I'm not going to be running VirtualBox on my work computer, but you get the idea, right? So people are constantly after me. They're like, why do you use Google Chrome? Why do you use VirtualBox? You should use all open source. Well, you and Richard Stallman can go have fun off in a corner creating your own fantasy about what the world really is while I try and participate with the way it is. You know what I mean? I think I've pissed enough people off for this video. Thank you for watching. Firefox is off of this machine, and I'm done ranting. Have fun!